guys, I'm back with another tutorial. I'm sorry it's been a while since I've released a tutorial, um, but life has just been crazy with my kids. If you have small kids, you know that life gets kind of hectic sometimes. So I haven't had time to edit all of my videos yet, but I'm back today with this brand new tutorial, and I'm gonna show you how you can create your own digital stickers using Keynote on your iPad. So this is a really quick process and these aren't gonna be stickers that you could like create to sell because they're not the greatest quality, but they actually work really well for personal use in your digital planner. So really quickly, I'm just gonna turn on my screen recording, which this isn't an official step, but this is also gonna be part of my weekly plan with me video next week because I need this sticker for my personal planner. So I'm gonna just turn on my screen recording really quick and I'm gonna go straight into Keynote. So Keynote is a free app. It comes pre-installed on your iPad, so it's already there. It's nothing that you have to find in the App Store. So I'm just gonna pull that up really quick, and I'm gonna start a new presentation. So to do that, I'm gonna click this plus sign right here, and I'm gonna select the white presentation. And so now that that's open, I'm gonna delete this text. So I'm just gonna select it with my finger and then select delete, and then again, select that and select delete. So now I wanna bring in a shape. So tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment, so I wanna bring in a doctor-related shape. Keynote has tons of shapes. They have like hundreds of shapes for you to choose from of all different kinds. Um, and the way that you access their shapes is you select this plus sign here, and then you come to the third icon right here. It's a square with a circle behind it, and that's all their shapes. And you can see right here, you've got tons of categories to choose from if you just wanna browse, or they offer a search feature. So if, for example, you wanted some kind of birthday-related sticker, like a birthday cake or a pinata, you could type in birthday, and here's all of their birthday selections. So it's really cool. So I, like I said, have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. So I want to bring in a stethoscope. So I started typing in doctor and you can see right there, there's a stethoscope. So I'm just gonna select that and it's gonna bring it in for me. So then I'm gonna just drag the corners of that box that's around the shape to make it a little bit larger um, because the larger it is, the better quality it'll, it'll be in the end. And now it's much larger and the shapes automatically come in as blue, but I wanna change this to black. So I could change it to any color, but I'm gonna change it to black because I wanna use it again, and I wanna be able to change the color of it in Procreate. So to change the color, I've selected this paintbrush icon right here that's in the upper right corner. And I could just select that black color right there, which is what I am gonna do, but if you wanna choose from other colors, you've got options when you select fill right here, it'll bring up other options for you. So you can also fill the shape with an image. So I'm gonna select black. And now to save it as an image, I'm going to select these three dots right here, and I'm gonna select export. And so I wanna save this as an image so I can use it as a digital sticker. So I'm gonna select images, and it does give you the option of saving it as a PNG, which is, you know, what I would normally recommend for a transparent background, but I don't know if it's different on my iPad, but when I try to save it from Keynote just like that, it doesn't save it with a transparent background, it saves it with a white background. So just for now, I'm gonna save it as a JPEG high quality image, and I'm gonna select export. So now it's exported, and it's asking me to choose how to send. So I'm gonna select save image, and that'll save it directly to my camera roll. So now I'm gonna go to an app called Magic Eraser and I'm just gonna turn my iPad because this app is portrait only. It doesn't let you do it in landscape mode. So anyway, here's the Magic Eraser app and it's a free app. It usually makes you watch an ad right when you open it. I opened it ahead of time to save time, but usually it makes you watch an ad that just for like a couple seconds. So there's my image right there. So I'm gonna select that image and I'm just gonna do a custom crop. Um, it automatically gives you the option of cropping. So I'm just bringing these edges a little closer to the icon and I'm gonna select done. So now I wanna erase the background so it has a transparent background. So all I'm gonna do is click on the white areas and it just deletes the entire thing. So I deleted most of the white and there's still a white area here. So I'm gonna click there 
and the white background is completely gone, it's now a transparent image. So now I'm gonna select this box in the corner to save it, and I'm gonna select the PNG image right here, and I wanna save it as high resolution. So now that's also saved to my camera roll. So now to bring it in to procreate, I'm gonna turn my iPad again because I like to do things in landscape mode. And I'm going to open the Procreate app. And it's already on my calendar. So this is my legitimate weekly calendar right here. And I wanna insert that stethoscope for Tuesday. So in order to do that, I'm gonna click on the wrench tool. I'm gonna click on insert a photo and I'm gonna click on all photos, and this most recent image is the one with the transparent background. So you can see it brought it in since I made the image bigger. You know, it's not the best quality, like I wouldn't recommend selling these stickers, you know, especially because they're pre-made icons, but they're great for making your own stickers for any occasion. So it's not the greatest quality, but when you shrink it down, you can't tell. So I brought it in as black, and I wanna change the color of this to pink. So I'm just gonna select my little color dot up here and I'm gonna select one of the pinks that I already have saved. I'm gonna select this one. And then I'm just gonna drag it to the stethoscope and now you can see that it's completely pink. And now I can just size it down and place it in the corner over here. And now it's in my calendar. So that's how you would do it in Procreate. In Good Notes, you know, or another note-taking app, if that's what you use primarily for your sticker to, stickers and digital planning, you can also import it in there just by going to your app and then importing it as an image. And the only thing about that is you probably, I mean, I know for sure in Good Notes you can't change the color. You'd have to change the color in Keynote. And now it's a sticker in good notes so i just think that's a really cool way to create quick little cute stickers for yourself so i hope this tutorial was helpful i'm sorry for the probably really distracting band-aid that i have on my finger um i have two band-aids on because my son keeps trying to pull the band-aid off and so i've got to protect my finger but anyway feel free to contact me if you have any questions at all or feel free to comment and let me know about other methods that you use to create your own digital sticker um, because i love to learn as much as I possibly can about digital planning and I love to know about other people's methods. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for more digital planning tutorials and digital planner new videos. And check out my website, naptimealt.com where you can download tons of planner related freebies now.